In this short video, I'm going to show you how to download climate data, specifically precipitation data, for your specific study area or for your specific station. When you click on the link that I provided uh, in this slide, you will see this climate data online website, which is under NOAA, uh, National uh, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. So, to download data, you need to click on this mapping tool. You can click on the data tool as, tools as well, but this mapping tool makes it much easier to find the station that you're looking for. So if you click on mapping tool, you will go to a website uh, like this. So you can download radar data, you can download monthly summaries, dailies, snowfall index, and normals. But what we are interested, we are interested in daily data. So I'm going to click on this time related maps, click over here. And then because I'm interested in the daily data, I'm going to click on daily data. And then after a couple of seconds of loading, you will be greeted by thousands of stations available in continental US to measure different climate um, variables. So these are um, stations available in the US. If you want to see stations available in the world, in the world, you just uncheck this one and check WMO, World Meteorological Organization, and you will see that the stations available in South America and Canada will pop up. We are in, interested in all US stations. So I'm going to zoom in. I can actually search it by an address over here, or I can zoom in using the interactive map feature. So I'm going to use the wheel on my mouse and zoom in into Minnesota. And I'm going to go to Minneapolis and see what stations are available over there. Very cool. So there are a couple of stations available in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. Which one do I want though? Okay, so let's say that I want to select this uh, station that I'm hovering around. To do that, you need to click on this tool map tools button. And then after that, click on the rectangle over here. When you click on the rectangle, it says click an area to select by rectangles. And I'm gonna create a rectangle around this tool. So I'm going to create, I'm going to hold the left button of my mouse and then create a rectangle and then uh, let it go. You will see that after a couple of seconds, the station will pop up over here. This is St. Paul 3 Southwest West Minnesota US stations. And you have the station ID and period of record available. So it means that this station has data from uh, 2006 all the way to 2017 and not more okay this is a very important part of this data if you see that the period that you are looking for is within this time period perfect that's 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 great if no you need to select other stations how to select other stations you just create another rectangle around one of these stations and you will see that this pops up. For example, this is Lower St. Anthony Falls, uh, Minnesota, and the record is available from 1991 to 2020. Perfect. It has all the recent years as well. So I want to download precipitation for this St. Anthony Falls station. To do that, you need to click on View Station Details. We'll do that. This, these two tables are very, very important. You need to check that out. And this gives you a, an exact latitude, longitude, X and Y position of that station. What do I want from this station? First of all, I need to add it to my cart. So I will add it to my cart. Take a look at this area over here. Right now, there, there are zero items in my cart, right? So I'm going to add it to my cart. And you will see that it says one item is available in my cart. So I'm going to click on View all items and then I can select what type of data I want and how I want to download them. Definitely I don't want them in a PDF format because I want to be able to work with the data. So I want to have them in an Excel format which is a CV, CSV format, comma separated version. So I'm going to select that and then go down and select the time period that I am looking for. I am looking for um, let's say 
I am looking from 2019, January 1st, all the way to 2020, January 1st. Okay, and then I'm going to click apply. The date changes over here. Once you did that, and then you will click continue. After a couple of seconds, right now, because I'm actually recording video, my computer is a little bit slower. In your case, it should be way faster. Okay, a couple of things. Every data comes with appropriate documentations. You can see that there are documentations over here. If you want to see what is included in that type of data, you need to download documentation and read it. For example, it asks you what kind of data you want. Do you want the station name? Yes. Do you want geographical location? Yes, I want it. So I'm going to check that. Do you want data flags? What are data flags? So if some data is missing, the data is going to be flagged as estimated. So I'm going to, right now, I don't need the data flag. And units, do we want standard US units or metric? I usually say metric because that's the international standards. And now, what kind of climate data do we want? Do we want precipitation? And notice, if I click on the plus sign, you can see that I have precipitation, snow depth, and snowfall. But I want precipitation. And do I want air temperature, water temperature, or different other water um, variables? No. At this point, I'm just interested in precipitation. So I'm going to click continue. I'll be greeted by the summary page. And then I need to actually put my email address. So I'm going to do that. This is my email address over here. Verifying my email address. Perfect. And then you will submit your order. When you submit your order, it will tell you that your order is in a queue. And when it's ready, you will, you will receive an email. I think you heard a ding or a bell. That was an email that I received from Noah from uh, this portal that says that your order is in a queue. When it's ready, they will send another email to tell you that it's ready and you can download it. So I'm going to stop this video over here. And once I received an email and I downloaded the Excel file, I'm going to show you how to process that Excel file.